this is Grego, and let me show you my kickstart method. This kickstart method, it works regardless of the number of factions and the numbers of shuttles per each faction. We have one faction here, this so it's one faction, three factions. I call this the 10 and then all method. Because round one here, as you'll see, I'm going to open up 10 shuttles, and in round two, I'm going to open up all shuttles. First thing we do here, section 31, we're going to open up 10 shuttles, but not send any until we start going. There's one. Here's two, three, four, five. Pretty boring, huh? Six, seven, Nine, and then more for ten. There we go, and we'll just count these to be sure. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And in round one, we send these one and so what you do, you open up the first shuttle, and this one you give staff with whoever the best people you have are. Just fill it up with the top candidates. I like to slap a zero star time reducer on these because it takes it all the way down to nothing, and what the heck else am I going to do with a zero star time reducer? So these we send in complete one by one, and it gives you two points each shuttle. It's just amazing, you know. So we'll do that for all ten of these shuttles. Open with whoever is the the best for that particular position that hasn't already been staffed. Slap a zero star time booster on it and send it and complete it. That was two of ten. We've got eight more of these to go. And yeah, while you're doing this, you can kind of take inventory of three-seater missions like this, is, which is what you should run once you get to 4K VP shuttles. Once you get to 4,000 VP per shuttle, only run these three-seater missions. But here on the kickstart, we start with ten shuttles. We run them one at a time. Fairly straightforward. We complete them one at a time. We staff these with whoever has the highest stats, and they should all be at 99% pretty much. Slap a zero star time boost on it, it instantly completes, and we move on to the next one. And just more of the same, I don't know, five seater. These you should never ever run after kickstart, really. Because these take the most people to staff and just waste the resources of your roster. So we'll slap a zero star time boost on that, we'll send that, we'll complete that. And we got a ton more of these to go. I don't even think we're halfway done yet. But we'll keep filling these with our best crew. Oh, I missed one there on this clown, but whatever. It's still 99%. We'll slap a zero star time booster on that, and we will send and complete that too. And we'll just keep going with this. This is the first round of 10. We're sending and comes all as we go after opening those initial 10. This is, again, round one of the kickstart, just staffing your best people one by one on ten open shuttles, sending them, completing them. Ah, we're getting to the end now. Three of them left. And then I'll show you what we do in round two. We just keep staffing these ten shuttles, slapping a zero-star time booster on them, sending, completing, instant gratification. And then two more to go. Open up this one, and we'll put our crew in the slots here. We'll get them going, and we'll slap a zero-star time booster on that, send that, complete that. And we are approaching the end of round one. One shuttle left in ten then all methods. So this is the tenth shuttle of round one, the last one. We'll staff that, we'll slap a zero-star time booster on it, and we will send it and complete it. So that is the ten, and the ten then all version of the kickstart that I use. Now you're going to see round two, the all part. What we do is we just open all available shuttles. So I'm just basically going to keep clicking on section 31 here until it gives me an error, and that error lets you know that you can't open any more shuttles. It means you've opened the maximum amount of shuttles. I clicked on the wrong shuttle. My bad, but we'll just keep opening section 31 shuttles until they are all maxed out. And yeah, I've got 20, 20 shuttles available until I have to buy more, whatever they call those or whatever they call them, transmissions, that's what they are. So we're just going to open up every single available shuttle that is available to open. And this should take a while. Well, I don't know how many more than 10 it would be. It would either be like 10 or 12 for a one faction, but not sure. One factions are kind of weird, though they've been popping up a bit lately. 
This is the beginning of a hybrid, so we've got a shuttle shuttle portion first, and then we have a galaxy portion in the second half. But this kickstart will work for any shuttle type event, and generally they do put shuttle events first. So what we're doing is we are opening, not sending any of these Section 31 shuttles. We're opening them up until we cannot open any more. So yeah, that's a ton of shuttles. We'll just keep opening up shuttle after shuttle after shuttle. Another one? There we go, that's the error message. So now we've got them all open. And now, unlike the last round, there's two different things we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is staff it with a good staff that'll get it to 99%. And then we are going to scroll down the roster to put in what I call empty husks, just crew with very small stats, so we're not you know, wasting good crew we could use on other shuttles. So crew with low stats, you do that. These you put a three-star time reducer on. You send it, but you don't complete it. Unlike the last round, don't hit complete, hit X in the top right corner. Move on to the next shuttle, and we'll do the same thing here. We're going to scroll back up. We'll put one good crew person on here, and we'll scroll down and try to find some empty shells that we can put on here, some empty husks, some kind of worthless crew that we can just kind of throw on and waste. Where are my low stats? There they are. And we'll put some low stat crew on here. And again, three star time booster. Send it, but do not complete it. And we'll move on to the next one. And again, we'll scroll back up to the top. We'll find somebody good to put on this shuttle. And then we'll scroll back down. And we will find some empty husks to put on this shuttle eventually. And there we go. Yeah, Lily, we haven't worked on you at all. The Forge, we haven't worked on you. We'll slap a three-star time booster on you. We will send you, and we will exit that. I don't want another shuttle bay. I just want to exit the mission. You know what I mean? There we go. Okay, so we'll move on to the next. Next shuttle again. We go up to the top. We select one good person for this shuttle. In this case, Vosh. That gets us to 99%. We scroll way down to our empty husk section. Uh, he wasn't quite an empty husk. Let's see who was an empty husk. Yeah, like Parath Keiko, and who else have I not worked on down here? Yeah, Lore. There we go. I'll slap another three-star booster on you. Send you. We're not going to finish you, though, because we've got so many more shuttles to do. So, again, we're going to staff all these shuttles that we can. We're going to go up to the top, select one good crew member to put on. Go down to the bottom. We're going to throw some empty husks on here, just crew that we have not worked on at all or worked on very little, crew that it doesn't matter you're putting on because we don't have stats that would be good that could be used on another shuttle anyway. You put a three-star time booster on it, send it, but don't complete it. Just hit that X and we'll move on to the next one. And again, very repetitive. We go to the top, we'll put elf guy in there, and we'll look for some empty husks down here at the bottom. And it's taking me a while to get to my empty husks now. Where are they? Where are my zombie crew? Crew of the living dead. Where are they? They're way down here somewhere. Well, let's use some blue crew, because I'm not going to use blue crew for anything else. So yeah, you can do that too. Again, a three-star time booster. You send it, you don't complete it, you hit that X. And we move on to the next one. And much like the last round, this is very repetitive. It is much of the same thing over and over and over. The only difference is we're putting empty husks on these and we're waiting until every single shuttle has been staffed before we start bringing them all in. So again, it takes us a while to get down to these empty husks here. Find these empty shells of crew. There we go, Kelby from Enterprise. Yeah, remember him? He was a character once. And we send it and we hit exit. And we've got a ton more shuttles to staff, so let's go to it and staff it. Scroll up to the top, put your best crewman on, you get 99%. And you scroll down, you find some empty husks. Like bones that I haven't worked on there. And oh no, where are my other empty husks? Keep going. Wow, I've got a lot of crew work on there. The Gorn, Gorn to be wild. I haven't worked on him at all. So there you go, send that. We'll close that out. We've got a bunch more shuttles to do, but you can see the pattern. You open the shuttle up, you go to the top of your roster, you put on somebody who gets you to 99%, and then the rest you staff with just garbage crew that has 
no stacks basically you find your weakest crew like a blue blues are fine but oh, i didn't want to put them there though i put them in the wrong spot now it's down to 70 percent well i messed that up let's go back to the top oh whatever this is going to be a pain now but whatever we'll just keep troy there this is not the way i usually do it but hey some variety at least it's not repetitive well it is repetitive but i'm just putting them in different slots this time because i don't know i'm getting bored yeah, whatever. I'm getting so bored I put flocks on there because I don't care. I think I have enough crew to do this, but in actuality, you're usually looking for empty shell crew to put on, crew with very low stats, crew that you're not going to miss, like, there we go, Arachneo, you put her on there, and three-star time booth, send it, we exit it out, we move on to the next shuttle, and we do much of the same, and there's another three-seater mission. Those are always good to run once you get the 4K VP shuttles. I'll put one good crew person on there. We will scroll down. There's an empty husk. And there's another empty husk. We'll put a three-star time booster on. We'll send it, and we'll exit it. We'll move on to the next one. And much of the same. Scroll up to the top. You put your best crew person there. That would be Pugilist Q. We go to the bottom. We got Cisco. We got Klingon Lady, and we got... What's her face from that movie? Anage, or whatever her name is. Okay, so we put a three star booster on it and send it and exit it and we move on to the next one. Ooh, another three seater, so that's good. There's plenty of three seaters, you know, once you get going. There's a round you do after Kickstart. I don't think I'll show that in this video. However, this one, I think it's just going to be a Kickstarter video. But basically, after Kickstart, what you want to do is send as many shuttles as you can using tokens with as many high star like four star boosts if preferable because what you're trying to do in the rounds after kickstart is get rid of those low point shuttles as quickly as possible and the best way to do that is send a lot of them and send them with very high time boosts so that they get out of the way quickly you send a lot of shuttles in a very short amount of time that's the after start after kickstart method that i use and let's just finish this kickstart here we'll get this kickstart video out and then Perhaps later I'll do an after kickstart video, but I just want to get this one out there, show you how kickstart, those shuttle events used to infuriate me before I figured out how to kickstart. They were just, oh, they were the bane of my existence. I hated them, and now I do really, really well at them. And that all came down to a good kickstart and farming the heck out of shuttle boost from cadets on Thursday. So that's another way. The, all these boosts I get, I get by farming 18 hours worth of cadets every thursday and we've got two of these missions left but let's staff them and i mean we're getting down to the last two so i can pretty much pick anybody and put them on these shuttles because there's only one left we slap the three star booster on we send it and last mission here turn about as fair play all right in this one since it is the last shuttle we can just put the top four people in this because we're going to be recalling all these shuttles here soon but yeah, boom, boom, boom. Last shuttle in the 10 then all method. This is the last one of round two, the all round. So we're going to send that one out. We're going to exit this out. And now we're going to scroll all the way back to the beginning of these shuttles. And we're going to pull each one of them in. And as you see, they get 350 points each per shuttle. I think there's 10 of them. If there's 10 of them, that's what, uh, 3,500 points just from round two of kickstart alone. But yeah, you go boom, 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 boom. Just take them down one at a time, and these pretty much all should be successful. You really shouldn't fail any kickstart shuttles. Usually the 99% ones are kind of safe. I don't think I've ever failed one. I may have failed one once, but it is very rare that it happens in kickstart. It happens a lot after kickstart, but you should be safe with high 90 percentages in kickstart there with those low point shuttles. But as you can see, you know, each one of these is worth 350 VP. And I keep going and keep going and keep going. Boom, there's some more. And again, much of the same. We just exit these out, and I'll show you where I'm standing and what tier rewards I have just from doing this kickstart here. A couple more shuttles to bring back in. There we go. And last shuttle to bring in the kickstart. That is the kickstart, as you can see. Um, we'll go here and claim my reward. So with that kickstart, did I get the four star? No, I didn't get the four star yet. But let's see how I rank. Just by doing that kickstart at the beginning of the events, I am ranked 68th. So there you go. It is a good kickstart method. It will put you really high into the standings. So if you're looking for a kickstart method, this one works 
on any shuttle event. It doesn't matter how many shuttles are per faction. It doesn't even matter how many factions there are. It just works. Now, this is Drago. This is my pit start method. I hope this helped you.